Let's have some fun. Let's take some shaving cream. Add some acrylic paint. Oh, let's add lots of colors. Yes, we're having fun because sometimes creating can just be fun and relaxing. No need to think about anything. Use a little stick to swirl it around to create a marbleized look. Then put a piece of paper on top and pull. But wait, what else can we do? I think I put too much shaving cream. So I was able to create a lot of backgrounds, including some directly in my art journal. I took my small and my big art journal and created backgrounds for my page. Next, you take a spatula and you just remove the shaving cream. Remove it all the way until there's none left. And the beautiful background will reveal itself behind. This is the one in my small art journal. And all I'm doing is just removing all the excess. I created so many backgrounds with this little amount of shaving cream. So if you're doing it at home, just add less shaving cream because there's so much of it. It's so simple to create these quick backgrounds and there's so many of them. I use liquid acrylic paints, but you can use any type of acrylic paint, even the cheap one from the dollar store. Here are all the backgrounds. Look how many I made. It's kind of crazy because I really feel that it was so easy and I had so much fun doing it. The pages are so smooth and cool. I really loved every single one of them. And here is the one I altered already in my journal and I love the distress feeling of it. Isn't it beautiful? For my second technique, I'm just using some heavy body acrylic paint. It doesn't have to be too thick, but you don't want it to be so liquidy. I'm adding a few different colors, of course my favorite ones, which are blues and greens, and you're gonna see this amazing background, which is so easy to make, with just a simple household item, saran wrap. You place it on top and then just start pushing with your fingers to blend the colors together. If you want them to all match up on the first try, all you have to do is put more paint drops and they will unite quicker. But if that's not the case, all I did is take the saran wrap and turn it around because there was so much paint on it. So all I had to do was just flip it around and that would create stains on the other parts of the paper. I blended it together as there was a lot of paint on it and then did it one more time because the blending creates such a cool effect. Once you're done blending the whole paper, then you can just toss the saran wrap. However, I decided to take what was left over from the paint on the saran wrap and add it onto an art journal page. It was so easy. All I did is just place it on the art journal, pressed it onto the background, and then removed it. There was still so much paint on that saran wrap that it covered the whole background. And here's the art journal that I created with it. Pretty simple, but such an easy colorful background created in a few minutes. This third technique is really cool. All you do is take some liquid acrylic paint and mix it in different sized cups. Add some paint to each cup, water, stir it well, and then add a little bit of soap to each one. You're going to need some straws because you're gonna be having fun blowing bubbles into the cups the way you did it when you were drinking milkshakes when you were a kid. Make sure you always put the right part of the straw in your mouth, otherwise you'll be tasting some paint. Yuck. I've done this technique before and where I created ring bubbles onto my background. And that's what I wanted to attempt to do now. And as you can see, the bubbles come out so cool onto the background. 
However, they ended up popping so quickly that I didn't really get the effect that I wanted. They were popping at an enormous rate and the rings weren't staying. I tried with a couple different colors, first with yellow, then with purple, and as you can see, they're just popping, popping, popping. I just couldn't get them to stay. I couldn't figure out what I had done differently this time than last time. But with art, nothing ever turns out exactly the same as it's supposed to. It wasn't working. I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. I tried placing it on top, I tried placing on the paper, and I couldn't figure out what was the problem until I realized that the big bubbles won't do, that you need to use the smaller mini bubbles in order to create that really cool effect. And when I started doing the mini bubbles, somehow the mini bubbles took less time to pop and that's why the rings became so much better. When I realized that the small bubbles create the effect I want, I started mixing them really quickly and adding them with a spoon. It really made a difference. And the small bubbles took longer to pop, so therefore they stayed longer on the page and the paint dried around them. I started filling bubbles in blue, in yellow, in purple, to the point that there was one paper, I filled the whole paper with bubbles and let it dry for a few hours. And I had so much fun doing it. Sometimes we just need to have fun creating and not really worry about the outcome or how things are gonna come out. Creating backgrounds is such a great way to really focus on something that is not doesn't have a final process. And then you can use those backgrounds later. So this is something that I really want you to focus on, that when you're creating and you're telling your story through art, you should be telling it in a way that makes you happy. I felt like a kid again in a colorful bathtub. And this is such an easy technique to do it even with kids. I have so many other acrylic paint techniques that can create amazing backgrounds for your projects. Each one is uniquely different and can really help you develop and express yourself in your art. Click on this playlist right here and you'll be able to learn all those techniques. I'll see you right there.